Elon Musk started research on his battery in 2012 and hopes to have a working device by 2023. What is the mechanism used for this battery? Is diamond battery safe? Diamonds are great at carrying heat, according to popular science, and micro-sized diamonds transport heat out from radioactive substance components to the region where the power is generated. The NDB battery's technology is comparable to the first DNV battery, which utilized graphite waste from a carbon black nuclear reactor. Thanks to radioactively tainted graphite and heat conducting diamonds, the device might last thousands of years. The differences with NDB's approach are that it generates more energy by using many levels of diamonds and nuclear waste panels. However, the long-lasting battery life is an advantage. Each single cell produces very little energy, necessitating the use of a huge number of cells to operate conventional and larger gadgets. To absorb the energy produced by the isotopes, the batteries will be enclosed in sheets of paneled nanodiamonds. The battery will continue to produce power without recharging because isotopes have millions of half-lives and diamonds are great heat conductors. In October 2020, Dr. Nima Golsharifi, co-founder and CEO of NDB, informed Future Net Zero that the battery would have two advantages. The very first approach is to create something valuable out of nuclear waste. The other one is a timer that can run for hundreds of years. The diamond battery features a smart safety mechanism that addresses at least focuses on three major safety concerns. First, the polycrystalline diamond encapsulating can both confine and safeguard the isotope's radiation. The diamond battery will have thermal vents to help manage heat flux within the structure. NDB will also use a boron-doped polycrystalline diamond, PCD, to convert excess neutrons into alpha particles, maximizing the utilization of neutron radiations. In addition, an ion implantation technology will be used in the diamond battery to avoid nuclear proliferation from nuclear fission isotope synthesis. This assures that the diamond batteries are only used to generate power. According to the business, the PCD within the battery is conveniently placed to reduce self-absorption of radiation while permitting for speedy conversion to usable electricity. The price of the lifetime battery has yet to be revealed by the firm. It's a complete revolution. The radioactive diamond battery, which is fueled by nuclear waste, is expected to last 28,000 years and be available for purchase by 2023. The future Apple Diamond phone is then easy to picture. You are purchasing an iPhone, not an iPhone, which would be sold for the same price as the world's most costly computer. Every famous rapper will desire one. This will be the final stage of the global class conflict. Let's return to that nuclear waste fueled battery, which, according to its inventors, might allow a spacecraft or hospital to run for 28,000 years without getting to be refilled or replaced. Thus, according to California-based nanoscale diamond battery, NDB, the nuclear battery is totally safe for people and will alter the planet. Within the following two years, the company aims to begin selling the batteries to trading partners, including aerospace companies for long-term missions. NDB is also developing a commercial version that might power a phone or electric vehicle for up to decades without needing to be recharged. The tech startup has not released any pricing information, claiming it was still in development. The technology includes stacking layers of nanodiamonds in a battery cell with radioactive isotopes extracted from nuclear waste. Microscopic Diamonds' excellent thermal conductivity draws away the heat from radioisotopes so rapidly that the exchange creates electricity. This battery is based on the nuclear voltaic diamond DNV technology, which was demonstrated by experts at the University of Bristol in 2016 and uses graphite blocks. Due to low power output, this innovation is for components that require a slow, continuous supply of power over a lengthy period of time. By layering diamonds and nuclear waste panels to boost total energy generation, the NDB technology can be used in consumer items. The company also guaranteed that the component was stable and that the nuclear particles within the layered supply cells was not easily accessible. A spokeswoman added, The DNV stacks, including the source, are covered with a coating of polycrystalline diamond, which is recognized to be the highest thermal conductivity material. This material is also the toughest and has the potential to retain radioactivity inside the device. Tougher than steel material by up to 12 times. As a result, the product is exceptionally durable and tamper-proof. 
A wristwatch with a tiny NDV battery, for example, might be handed down through generations without the need to change the power supply. Satellites would one day be powered by diamond batteries. It will provide them with plenty of extra capacity to absorb at the end of its lifetime, or probes that will go thousands of years into outer space. The thrill of discovering the unknown fuels humanity's ambition to explore space, says NDB. Recent advancements in space technology, as well as the introduction of the first piloted electric planes, have resulted in an increase in demand for battery systems, which has been hampered by worries regarding longevity and safety. The NDB can power drones, electric airplanes, space rovers, and stations for extended periods of time. Smaller gadgets, such as cell phones and laptops, will utilize this technology in the future. Each one has a built-in fusion reactor, which will last as far as the device, without really needing to be recharged. Long-lasting battery life in a minor quantity can help in-situ and injectable medical equipment, such as hearing devices and pacemakers, the business noted. While we are still a few decades away from this technology, we must live a full life now. Working, traveling, and relaxing. Why not try it out in JAC IEV7S? Comfort, power, and everything you may need for everyday use are all available in this affordable electric vehicle. Sure, it won't be capable of traveling for 20 millennia without charging. However, the 400km range on a single battery charge is a fantastic feature. The accessibility of modern electrical components, the rising popularity of hybrid vehicles, and the race to send humans on extended space trips to Mars in the 21st century have sparked a surge in excitement in battery technology development in recent years. Battery types are better suited to certain uses, while others are not. However, we can predict that normal lithium-ion batteries will not be replaced by radioactive diamond batteries very soon. Traditional batteries have a lower lifespan but are less expensive to produce. However, the reality that they really do not survive very long, approximately five years, is an issue because they generate a lot of electrical trash that is difficult to recycle. Nuclear diamond batteries are much more convenient than regular batteries since they last that much longer. We might finish up with smartphone batteries, which last significantly longer than that of the life of the phone, if they can be evolved into a global battery, as NDB Incorporated proposes. And we could easily swap the power supply through one smartphone to the next, much like we do currently with the SIM card. The diamond beta voltaics produced by Arkenlight, on the other hand, will not go that far. The company is developing concepts for carbon-14 beta batteries that can be stacked into cells, Elon has making plans to unveil his first ever EV powered by nuclear diamond battery by 2023. Don't all these characteristics make them one of the greatest possibilities for the future we need? We'll have to wait and watch if manufacturers can overcome production difficulties and limited energy output to bring diamond-based batteries to market in a cost-effective and accessible manner. Can they be a game-changer in the EVs? Will it solve the global power issue? Will Elon Musk lead the EV industry? Let's wait and watch. Please subscribe and get notified about the updates. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one.